Hey my friends, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna learn how to create projects in Android Studio. Open Android Studio, and the first step in the application development process is to create a new project within the Android Studio environment. You will get this welcome screen. To the left, we have this panel, the projects, customize, plugins, and learn Android Studio. If we click on the projects, we get this, um, this screen. We have new project, open projects and get from VCS, the version controls, and this is for the GitHub. Later on, we'll talk about it. And we have more actions and we talked about these when we deal with the SDK manager, with the virtual device manager and so on. Okay, if you need to update the SDK, if you need to update your device manager, you can update them from here and customize your uh, AVD. The customize, if we click on customize, we'll get this a panel we have the color theme you can switch from the drag love you can select the white IntelliJ light high contrast and you can download other um, other themes also you can select the IDE font you get for example 16 24 and so on okay so this is the font of um, of the Android studio now if we get to the plugins, later on, uh, we will see these plugins in many details and we'll use many of them later on in the next and in the complex projects. But till now you don't need to uh, install any plugins. Also, you'll get the Learn Android Studio. These are uh, helpful and, uh, and good resources to learn Android Studio in the uh, uh, with uh, the, the, the official website of Android Studio. Now, let's go back to the projects. Click New Project, and you will get this new panel. Options are available to create projects for phone, tablet, Wear OS, TV, Android Audio, or Android Things. So you can select to the left, Wear OS, Android TV, Automotive, Phone and Tablet, but we are interesting in this course, at, uh, creating applications to the phone and tablet. Okay, so you can see a lot of things we can use. No activity, empty activity, but this is a Jetpack Compose. You can see this is the logo of Jetpack Compose. And in the next sections and in a standalone course, I will describe this in very detailed manner so jetpack compose is different from empty activity this is uh, uh, this course will use the xml and also in the later stages will use the jetpack compose jetpack compose there is no xml layouts but the views we need to define the xml layouts by ourselves till now i don't need to create a project with the empty activity of jetpack compose I'll use the empty views activity. So always start with the empty views activity. Also, you can see a lot of things you can make with the uh, game activity, C++, native CS++, uh, the button navigation views, the, and these other views. But till now we are interesting in the empty views activities and the views refers for the XML. And this is, the logo of Jetpack Compose. Don't, don't be uh, confused with these two, empty activity and empty views activity. Always select empty views activities. And later on, when we talk about the Jetpack Compose, we will see how to create Jetpack Compose projects. Select next. And here we need to specify the name of the application. I'll name it as first app. The package name, you can name it whatever you want. I'll name it as master coding, com.mastercoding.first application. The save location, you can select the save location of our projects. And here, the language, you can select both Java and Kotlin. And later on in the next, uh, in the next um, updates of Android Studio, some articles and some uh, websites are telling us that the Kotlin will be the only language for this uh, Android Studio uh, application development. But till now we have both Java and Kotlin 
And I don't worry, I'll keep you updating with everything. And whenever we have any change, I'll change the course according and I update it respectively. So don't worry, just follow my tutorials. I can select Java or Kotlin. I can select the minimum SDK. And here, this is the, uh, the minimum SDK. I can select, this is the API 24. Once the Android, the Android is keep updating, uh, some other devices and some old devices can't run the new APIs. So I, my, and I, I advise you to keep it as default, API 24, because you will cover 94.4% of the devices. And this is good, okay? So you keep the minimum SDK as it. Click finish and let's add keep Android Studio to work and finish here the Gradle and other background threads and the processes. And here we go. This is our project in Android Studio. We will clarify everything, the structure of this UI, the user interface of the Android Studio in the next videos, but now we are interesting in creating the first and running the first application. Here we select the virtual device that we have created before and we click on this green triangle, run the application. And here we go. Congratulations, guys. We have created the first $1 billion application. <laughs> Just kidding. This is your first application. Congratulations. Now let's start the app development 